You are so real. It's incredible. May I? Oh my god. It's amazing. So up there, are you like sleeping right now? It's a kind of sleep. The human experience, the survival of the human body of life, that's really central to the mission. <clears throat> Black Mirror, which began on British television before switching to Netflix, has just returned for its first new season in four years. And ahead of the release, we sat down this week with Charlie Brooker in London, the creative mind behind the mirror. I saw a thing that had sort of gone viral where somebody had said, Black Mirror is written by one stoned British dude who just says things like, what if your mum ran on batteries? And... That's not a million miles away from the truth. <laughs> Charlie Brooker has been living in Black Mirror World for 12 years now. I love you, Mayday! But because the show is so unusual, you never know when a new season will come out or how many episodes it will feature. I'm always, I think, healthily terrified in the, in the run-up to the show actually coming out because you spend a lot of time sort of in your own head to start with when you're writing it. And then you take that fright out on the viewers. Hopefully. The show has lots of different flavors across a series, and, and this time around I've, tr I've sort of pushed that to its extremes, I think. That's Keith Holligan, sir. So he murdered his wife. Oh, it was manslaughter. The title of the show comes from the reflective surface of a computer or TV screen when it's turned off. A powered down device becomes a black mirror. Is there a floor for how dark you'll go? <laughs> uh, possibly not. Or, or if there is, I haven't quite found it yet. Brooker, who we met at the British Film Institute in London, started his career as a cartoonist before writing and presenting television criticism, then eventually switched to television creation. Congratulations on saying mirror, because a lot of Americans call it mirror. Black mirror has become his crowning achievement, a modern day twilight zone. Please, Mr. Chambers, eat. We wouldn't want you to lose weight. That was definitely a huge inspiration that it was this sort of mix of sci-fi and horror and ideas and um, sometimes darkly playful, sometimes incredibly cruel. <laughs> This won't make us tell you how the crystal works, Valdak. The weird thing about doing a show like Black Mirror is you want to give people what they're there for, but equally you want to keep it surprising. One of the things, it turns out, people turn up to Black Mirror for is to be left with no sense of hope. <laughs> so occasionally it's quite fun to deliver on that. Why have you done this to me? Uh, well, uh, actually you did this to you. Uh, real you is paying for this. Each episode of Black Mirror is a standalone story with different actors. That's Salma Hayek? Uh, she even has your hair. <laughs> In addition to Hayek, the first new season since 2019 includes Josh Hartnett, Aaron Paul, and more. You know I don't read this crap. I am a dyslexic, talented actress with questionable English. That's why I overpaid you. As always, Brooker can viciously satirize social media and technology. But the show, born in the comedy department at its old home on Britain's Channel 4, continues to evolve. Most of the new chapters have a retro feel, exploiting a sense of nostalgia while tackling timeless topics of surveillance and voyeurism. I have to say that actually, legally, the Streamberry Corporation can do this. You savage the streaming services <laughs> in at least a couple of these episodes, including a Netflix replica. Uh, You're on Netflix. Yep. Am I biting the hand that feeds? Yeah. I think it's more a gentle, a playful nibble. It's not gentle. It? <laughs> they can't do this to me. There are only so many ways for me to tell you that they absolutely can. You still write every single episode? Uh, by and large, so one of them this time round was co-written with Bisha K. Ali. But generally, yeah, I tend to. I think because it's quite an idiosyncratic show. Either that or I'm just a lunatic. Which of the, or both those statements Maybe could both, be... Maybe both, yeah. Those both could be true statements, couldn't they, yeah. 
Sometimes it's two days to write an episode, sometimes it's months. Quite often the ideas are knocking around for quite a long time until there's a moment where they seem right or there'll be elements of it where there were elements of the Joan is Awful story that I was thinking about for a long time and then the stars will align and you suddenly sort of, the missing piece of it falls into place and you write it quite quickly. Bergerac. Bergerac. Uh, old detective show. Your folks were s seriously into it. It is an odd process, and I find it again. I think sometimes you need think you need to sort of shake things up a bit for yourself. Usually, ideas come to me when I'm in idle conversation with people, or I I'm watching a TV show with my wife, or something like that. Maybe the most jarring and addictive element of every Black Mirror episode is the end. <laughs> no, guys. <laughs> which we're not sure anyone ever is able to predict. What the f is this? How the f is this? If people are left reeling in astonishment and or horror, <laughs> then we're, that's mission accomplished. We, you, we, we always used to say it's like a, uh, it's an assortment box of chocolates. You don't know what filling you're gonna get, but it's gonna be dark chocolate on the outside. That's the sort of psychological thread that's running through the whole thing. I like I like dark chocolate. Well, sure, <laughs> who like doesn't? It. I mean, uh, again, the great thing about Black Mirror because it's an anthology, you can mm -hmm. pick up any episode from any right. season and just watch it. And you know, he talks about a sense of hopelessness, and people say how terrified they are watching it. Sometimes I don't get that as much. I just it makes you think, you're entertained, you're also scared a little bit. But I just it's just so creative that he's. It, I like the moment where he was like, when you maybe I'm a little crazy, you know, writing his own episodes, and it was he started thinking about it like, hmm, maybe I am a little <laughs> bit crazy. I mean, maybe yeah. a little bit of both, right? Yeah. People ask, everybody's asking during the piece about favorite episodes, so I'm just going to do this really quickly. I would say for those Black Mirror fans, uh huh, San Junipero, I think, was a favorite of mine. Entire history of you, and from this new season, the last episode in the new season is called Demon Seventy Nine. So you've That's been you've watching. been watching for some time, it seems like. Go, Jeff. Watch. Try.